Winston again from the end zone. Hits Sims out of the backfield. Sims gets it back to Evans. Off the hands of Logan Mankins and taken in for a touchdown by Trevor Wade. The Giants score a defensive touchdown for the third straight game as time expires. Are you ready for a few libraries? Backwards passes. Final play of the game. Dalton's got to get rid of it first, and here we go. J.J. Green, Dandy Dalton, backwards pass. That's still alive. Doesn't matter if it hit the ground. With Giovanni Bernard, and he'll try to keep it alive. Bernard at the 30th, throw it back to Dalton, who catches it and runs with it. And he's got to throw it backwards. Back to his center. That's oh. also Bodine, who got eliminated by J.J. Watt. And Damn. that... Over. <laughs> JJ says game over. Enough. Game over. You want to put a period <laughs> on the game? There you go. JJ Watt's sixth and final tackle. You know, barring some miracle right here, this is a. Uh... This would be a, a great win for this Philadelphia organization. And let's say this about the game coming up next week for the Rams. Unless something crazy happens here, they'll go into that game with a one-game lead on Seattle. But right. if they don't win that game, they lose the head-to-head. -head. They would have been swept by the Seahawks. So that's a huge game coming up. It's lateral time. Austin. And it's taken by Philly and Brandon Graham for the touchdown. There's a chance. There is a chance. Three plays later, Breeze, buying time, eludes the rush, finds Colston. Marcus could have stepped out of bounds. bounds. What's he thinking? I, I don't this know is, what he's I, thinking. I get that. I mean, you can step out of bounds and go for the Hail Mary. Situational awareness, this yes. is what frustrates me. There's everyone who's a better football player than me, but Marcus, you got to know the time on the clock, feel it, step out of bounds, live to play another down. And now Bradley Pinion, a punt out of his own end zone. This guy's a good punter. Coming up to get it right at the 40-yard line. And look at this. Oh, boy, they got away with one there. The ball is loose and then dropped immediately. Rather than take a four-point lead, that would have forced Kansas City to score a touchdown to win. Jamison Crowder, here come the laterals. Back to Cousins. He cannot catch it. It's on the ground. Picked up by Jordan Reed. Now Thompson. Kansas City has it. This might be meaningful to some. Houston scores a touchdown. There's the last play of the game. They will kick the extra point. Gets him one first down as a team with 4.52 to go in the half. It's Patrick over the middle. There is Marshall. Wide open. Drops the ball. Eagles pick it up. They've got the turnover. Marshall had it, was wide open, and then just dropped it. And Jordan Hicks, the rookie, picked it up in Philadelphia in business. Uh, he didn't drop it. He tried to pitch it. Brandon Marshall with a tremendous play. They move him to the slot and watch at the end of this play. He sees his teammate. And tries to pitch it just senseless by Brandon Marshall. We'll see if he's down. He is not down and gets rid of that ball. Unbelievable. Really during this four-game losing streak, especially with penalties. And penalties on the offense. Ted Ginn now going to throw it across the field on one hop. And that did not go very well. You had talked about that, Chris, how you had seen them do that before. And... They try it here with Ginn throwing it, an astroturf, if you will, bounce, but it didn't fool the Buccaneers. Well, it's a good job of, of Tommy Lee Lewis kind of hiding down here in the corner. He's going to pop out. Ted Ginn threw two passes in college and one in the NFL. And a good, I'll tell you, he short hopped it like a shortstop, but good discipline by the Buccaneers as far as staying in your responsibilities and in your lane.